How's it going everybody? This is Quentin with 360 Pick Junkies. Um, I want to come to you guys right fast and just give you a quick tip um, that a young lady messaged me, uh, inboxed me and asked me a question that I thought would make a great video. Um, I noticed that a lot of people that do 360 videos about live streaming your video using touch picks always use Apple TV. Well, when you're first starting off, um, if you can afford Apple TV, kudos, you have an Apple TV. Um, but for myself, I try and keep my cost as low as possible. So I want to use the Amazon Fire Stick. It works the same way as the Apple TV, where you can live stream your videos, you can live stream the actual action, or you can live stream your, uh, your, carousel, your QR code carousel to the page. So this is my Amazon Fire Stick. I'm going to hook it to my TV and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works. And um, I'm going to try to remember everything that I need to say in this video. And I hope that I don't leave anything out. But I'm going to connect this and I'll be right back. And I'll show you guys what you have to do to be able to stream your 360 videos using touch picks to Apple TV. Or I mean, I'm sorry, not Apple TV, but to Amazon Fire Stick. This is the Fire Stick 4K. Be right back. Okay, everybody, here we go. And um, you guys are getting ready to see my Fire Stick right here. And this is what I use. The price point, why I'm, I say the Apple TV is just something I'm not trying to pay for right now. Because the Apple TV, I've seen them on Amazon for $183 down to $173, or $72, something like that. But the uh, Apple Fire the uh, sorry, the Amazon Fire Stick is only $39.99. And sometimes you can catch them on sale for $29.99 if, um, if you come across a sale. So this is what I do to stream my phone to Apple TV. Let me go ahead and show you. We're going over here to find. And I'm going to hit find. I'm going to go down to search. And then I'm going to search screen mirror. There it is. It already came up and see you have a lot of different apps that work for screen mirroring which you have screen mirroring you have TV cast you have replicate you have all cast all cast sorry I'm country so my accent kind of throw me off sometimes you have a power mirroring you have fast cast this is a uh, air beam TV mirroring the receiver you have the air screen and there's several others that you can go on here. Uh, AirPlay picture in picture, and you look at that little symbol, that symbol is actually what shows up on your phone. So you have different things that you can use. You also have the screencast, which works well with um, Miracast and Google Cast. But the one that I prefer, okay, so this is the one that I personally prefer. It's called AirStream, and all you do is download it, and it'll load up to your TV just like this and then whatever you set up however you set up which mine is set up is going to connect to my wireless 360 pick junkies which is me the good thing about it is it tells you your gigahertz it tells you what network you're connected to and it also shows you your performance which is 4.7 is excellent because the best it does is a 5.0 so on this network that I have here um, here at home, my home network, I have a, a 4.7. When I was on location, it only dropped down to like 4.2. So I was still able to load content really quickly and get my customers going. So I'm gonna let you see what the screen looks like actually on the phone and that it does mirror. And this is a great way to um, use your Fire Stick. Um, I would much rather pay $39.99 versus paying $183.99 to get an Apple TV. And there's nothing wrong with Apple TVs. I'm a big fan of Apple. Um, I'm a big Apple person. I've had an Apple probably since the Apple 3. And now I have an um, iPhone 12 mini, which I use on the 360 booth to shoot the photos. And it mirrors just fine and I have not had any problems. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, go ahead and jump on the Amazon Fire Stick. And, um, or if you can go ahead and afford it, just because you can, get the Apple TV, but for people that just started out and all the newbies, it doesn't make any sense to spend money that you don't have to because you have to make that money back at some point. So if you start with a low cost, 
you can go ahead and, um, and upgrade later on down the line. But that's just what I wanted to show you guys. Remember, it's called Air Screen. Let me show you what the logo looks like one more time so you guys know exactly what it is. We're going to terminate the application and we're going to go here. This is Air Screen. This is exactly what you have to download on your Fire Stick for your phone to mirror directly to whatever TV you have. So I hope this helped a lot of people out and I hope this saves you some money. So let me know, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna do different videos like this that are all directed toward the 360 photo booth community. So give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. Share it, share it, share it, give me a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later, have a wonderful evening. God bless, take care. And here it is, and that's the uh, screen that I use, and I hope it's going to make everything easier for you.